Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 21 chat. <clears throat> oh! It's episode 23. You are in fine voice tonight. Mm. Last time, Tommy saved Christy. Cue the... Duh. <laughs> I mean, we knew that was gonna happen, right? And Kat and Cliff are still on the block. Yeah, there was no replacement nominee because Christy was the third nominee placed there by America. <laughs> I don't know what the appeal of, of cat is, but if creepy cat was uh, watching me sleep, <laughs> I that think wouldn't, that wouldn't go on for very long. The appeal of cat is that she has a personality. She's not just like, uh, what? Like, sorry, sis. And um, like that. yeah, but she's also like, <laughs> I mean, at least she's doing something. I find her very entertaining, and I got. So much more out of her this season than I would have expected. I'm not thrilled with the way things have gone in the last 24 hours or so. Yeah. But for the most part, I definitely enjoyed her on the show. I'm going to have to say I didn't. All right. Well, but anyway. That's just me. All right. Yeah, she was telling Jackson, I'm paranoid. And she should be. Because there's a lot of deals happening here. And she is not a part of them. And her whole... Are you bitches conspiring against me? Is coming true. Yeah. Alright, so Tommy, Nick, and Christy are having a meeting in the HOH room. And creepy Nick, creepy old Nick, wants to make a new alliance to go after Holly and Jackson. Right, he's like, ooh, I can get back in. Let's put some asses in the seats. Let's get a new six going. And we can get rid of Jackson and Holly. Alright. But... This edit was a little bit misleading. It's not really a big deal, but for this. <laughs> but um, Nick had already been laying the groundwork for this mm -hmm. six with Nicole before he had even told Christy, right. Tommy, and Sis about it. He was already like, ooh, I'm going to make this happen. And then he right. kind of like organically made Christy and Sis be interested in it. They're like, ooh, that sounds good. Well, the full alliance uh, would be Tommy, Nick, and Christy, mm -hmm. Cliff, Nicole, and Sis. Right. A.K.A. and Analyze. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point, Tommy left the room mm -hmm. before they really started about getting the six together. So, everybody else was like, yeah, yeah, we love it. Sounds great. We'll keep cliff uh safe this week mm -hmm. and then he'll return the favor while i go to final six and we'll live happily ever after christy <laughs> doesn't want to go to the end with couples unless they're her and tommy right her dreams are coming true hello pot <laughs> here's kettle yeah now the reason why i mentioned tommy uh leaving the room is because there's like a whole other layer of drama that was not shown on this episode. I have to give it to the editors. They must have stayed up all night working yeah. on this shit because a lot of this stuff happened in the wee hours yeah. of this morning. Somebody so. got some nice overtime in their check. Right? Mm, time and a half. <sighs> but anyway, um, Tommy promised at the beginning of the week that he did not want, he wasn't going to be forming any new alliances. Right. So he was not feeling this deal. He was like, let's all make individual deals with mm -hmm. Cliff instead right. of this final six thing. Okay. Well, Nicole is finding herself to be in a very important position this week. She is actually, for reals, Bugatti for real, the swing vote. <laughs> Bugatti, Bugatti for real. Nicole, don't F it up. This is very important. She's this got two friends up on the block. What is she gonna do? Well, Holly and Jackson don't care. They're laying low in the hammock. I mean, they're in a weird spot this week because their ally, Kat, is up on the block. Why? Because they left the bed long enough to go to the hammock? Yeah. And um, it doesn't make sense for them to really push mm -hmm. for Kat to stay when Kat is saying that Jackson is her target. Like, why would he want her to stay if she's saying, you know, it's, it doesn't add up. It doesn't look good for Holly either to keep Kat because... That's what I'm saying. When yeah. You, yeah. They really do know each other. Right. That and they're trying thing. to deflect 
away from that. So they did do a bit of campaigning, or at least Holly did do a bit of campaigning yeah. for Kat this week, but they've really been isolating themselves from everybody else, and it's not um, good for them. <laughs> I'll just say that. All right, it's time for the campaign tour, and we're starting with Kat first. She goes to talk to Nicole. She's like, Oh, I love you. You know, if I get sent home, no hard feelings. But if I do, I want you and Jess to go to the end. Right. And then she's like, but really, I want to be at the end with you guys. Yeah. So everything you said up to that point was just bullshit. Just keep me. All right. So then Nicole has a chance to talk with Cliff. And Cliff says, Nicole. There's a final six, Nicole. I'm going to have to need you to be in this final six with me, Nicole. I mean, at this point, she's already talked to Nick about it. She's already promised her vote to Cliff. Mm -hmm. But she's going to start freaking out very soon. So they're talking about how they both feel really bad that Jessica is being left out of this deal. But I have to ask, what did Jessica do to become a part of this deal? <laughs> Well, my thing is, why I mean, would you... You can't just sit there and do your makeup and expect to be, like, in an alliance. You gotta, like, I mean, like, she put made a big in. move last week. Yeah, but socially... Yeah, it's like, I see what you're saying. You're, you're saying, why would, like, Nick, who is trying to set this thing up, include Jess? Exactly. I mean, I can give you the reason why he didn't. He's terrified of Jess because Jess has said she wants to take out guys, and Nick thinks that he is, is Jess's number one target. He actually has a wiener. <laughs> we've actually. seen. We know. I don't mean we've seen his wiener, okay. but like... <laughs> I got nervous there for a minute. I was no. like, what have you seen? No. I've seen his Play-Doh wiener. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, Nick did not want to include Jess in this. No freaking no. way. So yeah, they're upset that Jess isn't involved, but Cliff is like, I got to do what I got to do to stay this week. You know, I can't stand all these people thinking, oh, we're going to have these giant alliances. There's not that many people left. You can't have an alliance of like eight and then expect to get rid of somebody. I know, right? Every week, it's just one less person in the alliance. Exactly. All right. So, Nicole's not happy about Jess not being in it. So, right. she goes and talks to Jess and says... There is an alliance. I'm in it, but you're not. Yeah. And she was like, I think also <laughs> Nicole was probably like, okay, let me look at this. Cliff is willing to leave Jess out of this deal. Right. What week is he going to leave me out of another deal? You know, is it going to be after Jess is gone or whatever? Am I going to be left out of the next one? So uh, she's like, know, maybe I should keep Jess. carry you to the end. I know. I Honestly, like, Nicole needs to step up and start doing some stuff. Because I know. She's just laying around with Nick, uh, just talking all day. Being yelled at. Yeah. As much as I love her personality, and I think she's really great in real life, I she, want her... kind of a doormat? I want her to be better at Big Brother. I really do. I had such high hopes for Nicole. Well, it's not over yet. No, I know, but I mean, like, I thought she'd be playing, actually playing a little yeah. harder. So Jess is like, oh my god, I feel so left out. And again, what have you done to get in the alliance? <laughs> All right, so Jess, after promising Nicole that she would keep her mouth shut. Hell no, she's not going to do that. Tells Kat about the final six. Yeah. Cue tears. Yeah. I, feel, <laughs> oh, I felt like Julia. I've lost where we were in the notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Julie was a wreck tonight. All right. Uh, so more Cat is like, Cat. what the F? I can't believe you're being left out of another alliance. Uh, did you include her in your alliance with Holly and Jackson? I don't think so. Cliff betrayed me. That's yeah. what Cat says. So um, you're both on the block? Yeah, I just. I do not like the way that Kat handled this situation because I feel like it's one thing to campaign against your friend on a game level or whatever, right. but the way she confronted him 
and like tried to make him feel guilty about what it. What was he supposed to do? It just, it felt so nasty and not necessary. I love the plan, Cliff. Why don't you stick to the plan? Because his ass is going home unless yeah. he does something. She's like, why don't you stand up for what you believe in? Blah, blah, blah. He believes um, in staying. If you believe in Cliff's Angel so much, why did you tell Holly and Jackson about it? I think it was the same night they formed it. Hmm. And she told her about it multiple times. Hello. Stop. <laughs> That's another reason why I don't like Cat in this game. Okay. Cat, uh... <laughs> Just keeps telling Cliff over and over. I'm disappointed in you. Yeah. Poor I, Cliff. I felt bad for Cliff. I did Because, too. I mean, like, what are you supposed to... I, I just would have been like, shut up, bitch. Uh, oh. It's either me or you. And well, I mean, that's basically what he was saying in a nicer way. He's like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm trying to stay here. I wouldn't Seriously. have felt bad about it at all. I just would have been like, look, I'm staying. You're going. What Bye. did she expect him to do? Just be like, oh, you're right. You can stay. No. no! He's got a family to feed, too! Yeah. Uh, so... Jess tells Holly mm -hmm. about the final six, and Holly's like... Perfect. Yeah, she's not, <laughs> but wasn't she like, oh, I'm not in it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, must be weird now. You're being left out of shit. Yeah. Mm. So then Holly tells Jackson. He's like, oh. <laughs> So, it really is all up to Nicole who's going to stay and who's going to go. That's a lot for a little nerd girl in this game to it have is. put on her shoulders. She's is. freaking out. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Nicole saying that she's like not accepted by a lot of people in the real world. Girl, you need to get out of Staten Island because... I thought she was Or Long, Long Island. Island. Whichever island. Maybe you should go to Staten Island. I don't know. But wherever you know. are right now, they sound like a bunch of turds because... You know what? She's great. This turds everywhere. True. All right. Anyway. All right. So, Julie, time, it's time to have Julie check in. Oh, before we get into this, I just want to say, because of, like, time constraints and everything, I'm sure, they weren't able to show all of the fallout from last night's drama. Right. Um, so, if you check out today's spoiler, I talk about like it like more it. there. And she did it effing live. Okay. <laughs> and I was shocked. I was like, whoa. That girl's like the Los Spookies newscaster robot lady. <laughs> That's such a great show. If you guys haven't seen Los Spookies yet and you have HBO, you watch need to it. watch it. You need to. It's so good. Anyway, back to this Julie fire. is surprised that everyone's wearing later hosen. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, so they have to wear like a costume for the, the HOH competition. Some of them wear very ill-fitting. Yeah. Very ill-fitting. All right, well, let's not call anybody out. Who look like SpongeBob SquarePants? Well, Jackson, because he had, like, the suspender thingies and, and the, the yellow top. shirt. Yeah. Ugh, was yeah. that a new haircut? I, I wasn't think so. feeling it. I think so. All right. All right, so it's time for the speeches. Okay. Cat had a let's blow up Cliff's game speech. Yeah, it started out nice. And, and then she was like, oh, he was out of the game, and then he came back, and, and... I mean, that's fine. I think that's fair to, like, yeah. talk about his strengths or whatever. But then she's like, oh, Cliff next week is going to make so many deals with everyone, and Nick's going to be there. That's fine. I don't care if she throws Nick under the bus. And, <laughs> and you guys all enjoy your immunity, depending on who wins HOH. Yeah. And then she said, oh, I'm sad it's, it's me versus my dad. My evil dad. <laughs> All right, so Cliff uh, said, y'all crazy. This is insanity. I love my wife and my family. Uh, I signed up to play Big Brother. I wanted to make a difference because I'm an old fart, and I want to show that old farts can play the game too. Shout out, Mad Rosie. Love your puppet shows. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish, right? So um, he's like, sorry, cat. And then he... He had a little gimmick at the end. He totally pulled a Maury Povich and Julie said Jerry Springer. Julie <sighs> do you not know you're competing talk show hosts? Come on Julie you're in broadcast <laughs> in a talk show 
<laughs> not anymore. Not okay. anymore, no. Yeah, so he had like an old card from when he was HOH and he was like, Cat, the results are in. I'm not your father. Oh my goodness. Has he been watching the season's puppet shows on the down low? I think so. <laughs> I think he's got the hookup. I think he's seen the Maury episode. <laughs> Maybe they showed it to him in the diary room. Maybe, I don't know. Hey Cliff, check this out. <laughs> Alright, so it's, it's time, time for the vote. I gotta say, Cliff kept it classy, but like he he knew he didn't have to attack Kat in right. his speech because he knew he had the votes to stay. Yeah. He he did kind of make her look desperate and <laughs> you know. Yeah. Alright, so Sorry, my nose is so itchy. My right nose now. was itchy at the same time. There must be something in the air. <sighs> All right, so it's time for the vote. And when Nick was going to vote, I don't know what he was doing in his wiener, but it was going this way, it was going that way. No! I think his suspenders were too short, and he had like some sort of a camel toe. I don't know, but he's always or touching what do they his call wiener. It for, for guys, moose knuckle. I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> He was straight up, like, all hands on deck on his wiener the other day. Like, out in the open. No, I mean, like, his hand was in his pants. But it was like, dude, what are you doing? All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. I've added a lot. I'm just saying, this is not an isolated incident, okay? Okay. Well, by a vote of six to one, Cat is evicted. Look at that. Jackson and Holly did not vote for Cat. It was like uh, Peter and Jesus Christ in the garden. <laughs> I don't know you. <sighs> Haven't we already had enough uh... biblical references? <laughs> but anyway, Jess was the only one who, who got a hug through Cat boat, and then yeah, Cat was. The... She only hugged Jess, and she was like, "Goodbye, everyone. Good, get out. <laughs> Damn. Now we can start the sanitation." Uh, uh, she is not the dirty one in the house. She was the first dirty one. Remember the beginning. She was the first one to crack open that box of condoms. All right. But, like, I've seen so much more. Like, oh, I feel like I've been through a war or something. I think you have. Not to discredit you... people who have actually been in a war. I think you're going to need some exit counseling after this. I think I am. All right. Julie was all disoriented. She broke her freaking chair with those monster heels. The bar, <laughs> She's like, whoa. Yeah, the bar like freaking snapped off. I feel that. I feel like we're both sitting on broken chairs. I know. <laughs> we are. That's because we are. I'm just waiting for me to bust my ass one day. Yeah. Um, that would be hilarious. I hope it happens on camera. No! If it's going to happen, let it happen on camera. Well, this interview was off the rails because Kat, from the get-go, took control. And Julie was like... freaking mumbling and like, tell me what I did wrong. I mean, I haven't seen the show yet, but you guys have seen the show, so you are... No, no. <laughs> and Julie was like, let me ask my questions. Yeah. And she kept saying, I can't tell you what's going on because you're, you're on in the, the jury. jury. Rural juror. Yeah. I have to say, Will I did... Will she be a bitter juror? I could see her being petty for sure. I could definitely see her being petty. Um, I do have to say I appreciated that Julie kind of called Cat out because Cat was all like, "Cliff should have um, stood up for what he believed yeah. in," blah blah blah. And Julie was like, "What do you believe in, Cat Hamilton?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because um, she was saying like, "You're playing you, both sides." You bitch. had a deal. With Holly and Jackson, mm -hmm. and Cliff's Angels were not included in that. Mm -hmm. So, what's the deal? And uh, Kat is saying that she would have gotten rid of Jackson in a heartbeat, whatever. Okay, fine, but what about Holly? Holly. And when Julie asked her about Holly, she didn't really answer. Well, she said that she would choose Jess and Nicole. But then later on, she was like, I, I don't know. And then she was like, I knew Holly. Ha! <laughs> we know. Yes. We knew before the season started. Yeah. Um, this interview was a total mess. And yeah. I can only imagine the, the after extended, show. Yeah, the extended interview, probably ten times worse. Yeah. Well, she's going to be joining Jack in the jury house. Imagine if she told Jack that Sis was cuddling with Nick. Imagine if she hooked up with uh, Jack. Ah! Don't do it! <laughs> All right, so time for the HOH competition. It's it called is. Oktoberfest. That's right. And it is the slip and slide. Slip and slide. Transfer the beer. Yes. Who wore the later hose in the best? I don't know. I didn't really get a good look. I'm going to go with Tommy because he's very short waisted. Okay. Um, They didn't show any of Sis's punishment from this week. Ah! All 
all that egg making was a waste. Doesn't that suck? Like, if you're gonna get a punishment, you at least want to get some airtime out of it, right? When are they gonna freaking show them? What a waste of eggs! I think eggs. the only time maybe we'll see it on that episode right before the finale when they're like, "Remember when this happened?" No, because you never showed it on the show. No, but they show a lot of like unseen stuff that um, they didn't get to. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So this competition. Um, you know what? I guess she was boring AF. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Yeah, she had to go sit in a coop in the backyard and lay in it. <laughs> they showed nothing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, this competition, I think it was, it was interesting. I think at least for me, what am I saying? I feel like this time we got a better view of the angle yeah. of the ground this time because it is sloped and it's always been sloped. But yeah. I feel like in the past it's looked a lot flatter, so we couldn't yes, really tell. I agree. So when you're sliding towards your beer stein, yeah. It's it could be crashing into going it. down, but then when you're going back to your Phillips it's hard station, to climb that, climb every mountain. Yeah, so you know, I just totally forgot what I was. Oh, there's no I'm side sorry. hustles on this one. No, yeah, you can't like go for five thousand dollars or whatever, or no slop passes, no gimmick no... for like a bigger cup. Right, they're gonna make these people work, and those steins were pretty big. Yeah, and the filler uppers were not so big. Um, I hate to be. What's the <laughs> word I'm looking for? Um, I don't know, like a negative Nancy, but I feel like I don't know if anyone good's gonna win this comp. Oh my god, am I really rooting for like Jackson or Holly? <laughs> I, I just don't feel like Cliff or Nicole or Jess are gonna be able to win this one. And um I feel like Holly's gonna win it. You think Holly? I, I don't do. know. I think Sis has a good shot at it. She's a freaking soccer player. On Crisco? <laughs> um, unfortunately, Nick probably has a good shot. I don't know, but if you guys don't want to wait until Sunday, because he's slimy, <laughs> <laughs> I walk in this shit all, all day. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, if you guys don't want to wait until Sunday to find out who the winner is, check out the info box for today's spoiler. We'll post it and as there. Every Thursday show, I say, watch the puppet show! Oh my god, what are we going to do this week? Take a Xanax! Alright. Alright, so let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Who are you rooting for moving forward? I feel like everything's like a cluster right now. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you rooting for? I don't know. Alright. I mean, I'm still rooting for Cliff, Nicole, and Jess, but are they going to be able to do anything? We'll see. So... Thanks again for watching, and until next time, much, much love. love.